All right, here we are, episode number one. Me and I met Olivia. Our first interview at the Killer Bee Studios was was with Orrin Sorrels from the Soapstone Comedy <laughs> Did you Club. Say Orrin? <laughs> <laughs> no, I said Aaron. I might have said Orrin. We'll have to rewind. Let's see if we can you rewind. Said no, 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 no. Orrin. Uh, okay, or I said I did not say his name right. I am terrible at names, <laughs> Meta Olivia. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, oh, um, boy. Mm. Well. I mean, you might want to uh, say his real rumored actual name. Oh, his rumored name. Oh, uh, isn't that, uh, is that it's Tom from MySpace? Easier. Nope, not Tom from, <laughs> which he might be around here. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of this guy named Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, yes, yes. I've heard of him. Wears the same clothes yeah. as Aaron. In the yeah, a lot of people think they're the same person. So yes, they know. do. But you have to listen to this episode to find out is he Mark Zuckerberg? Tune in to find out. We're going to go ahead and get started. But Aaron is actually the owner of Soapstone Comedy Club, one of the most popular worlds in Horizon Worlds, uh, and he's being joined his his dear friend Jason Earls, which is also a touring comedian. He's actually joined us as well as a guest. And he is the host of the Well Metaverse podcast. So they're going to join us to share their metaverse stories so far and how they came together, how this all started. It's it's actually pretty interesting in Meta Olivia because just like we shared during the preview, our plans for what we were going to do in here has changed a lot because of what we've been experiencing. So uh, with that, I think we should go ahead and get started. What's up, dude? Oh, hey, I failed. Sure. I always failed on the high How five, man. So, <laughs> you no guys, problem. thank you. I'm used to it. So I'm much. Let's it. try it again. <laughs> Boom. Oh. Man, happy to be here. I, I was going to bring yeah. some, uh, for you and Meta Olivia, some guns and roses, but, you know. Oh, Brian, you need some lessons from Jason. Yeah, man. He's lessons. got all the jokes, man. I love, yeah. it. I love it. Yes, he does. <laughs> well, you guys, thank you guys so much for for joining us and inviting all your, your friends, too. We we love that everybody's here. And, wow, I, I just, I've been listening to your, to your podcast. I've been watching some of your shows. And we're super excited that you guys are here. So with that, I do want to – I want to ask a question. And maybe – Everybody else out here might be wondering the same thing. I want to put this to rest. There's a myth. And unemployed, are you Mark Zuckerberg? <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought we agreed we weren't going to talk about that. <laughs> I mean, his avatar, your avatar even looks similar to him. So. <laughs> yeah. And they have the you know, same it, shoes. Look at them. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly. Yeah, there, I mean, there, there, there are a couple billion differences between me and Mark Zuckerberg. But, uh. <laughs> okay, so if you're not Mark Zuckerberg, then are you Tom from MySpace? Could you be Tom in return? Yeah, yeah. No? I, I've heard that. I've heard Woody from Toy Story. That's oh, there you go. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Awesome. Oh wow. Okay, so he's not. Any- Anybody's watching, he's not Mark Zuckerberg and he's not Tom. Aww. So he is on a oh, 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 it's so disappointed. Uh, all right. And now that, that's our show then, right? <laughs> actually, <laughs> <you're busted. laughs> right. Actually, he's Ken from Barbie. You know, this is the There you go. Stealing all the girls' hearts. <laughs> Well, you guys, thanks, thanks again for joining us. I want to, I want to start off by asking, by asking you guys, uh, I guess we'll start with Aaron here. Uh, how did you guys even get started in the metaverse? Like what got you guys interested in doing this and how did you guys connect together? Man, that's, I mean, that's the story, isn't it? Like it, that's the story <laughs> that's being written right now as, as we speak. But, uh, I, I can jump into that first, Jason. Like, uh, I mean, for me, like, what started it all was, you know, I was working away at a good grown up job. And then I came to recognize the fact that alcoholism or an alcohol had way too strong of a grip on my life. Uh, I was going through this cycle where I would abuse alcohol and then I would regret it. And then I would avoid it. And then I would compromise and then I would abuse again. 
And that mm. cycle just kept on continuing, and I couldn't do anything to break that cycle. Uh, so I ended up actually leaving that that good job and throwing myself into a good church, a good recovery program, and uh, thought it might take a couple of weeks for me to uh, heal my relationships and recover from alcoholism, uh, and then I'd get back to work. Uh, but that's not exactly how it played out. Uh, a couple <laughs> weeks of unemployment turned to a couple months, and ultimately it was over a year of every door that I knocked on closing in my face and wow. like just not being able to find traction. And, uh, you know, a year into it during that time that should have and could have been a very dark time. My wife and I were walking around downtown Grand Rapids and we were just laughing together. We were just enjoying each other's company and we were just laughing. And I thought, you know what? Maybe this is what I need to do. Maybe I need to help other people laugh. So I ended up oh, wow. looking online and it was the last day to apply uh, for a spot on this comedy festival that was coming through Grand Rapids. And I applied for it. I got the spot. It was, uh, you know, a Friday night spot at the biggest comedy club in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And, uh, and I, I, did comedy. <laughs> and uh, wow. that started this adventure of becoming a comedian. Uh, and and also, during that first set, the the biggest joke that had the hardest hit and punchline was uh, living in Grand Rapids, which is known as Beer City. Uh, the punchline of the joke was, so I'm an unemployed alcoholic living in Beer City. And uh, everybody laughed. And that actually cemented this purpose of uh, helping people laugh while talking about the recovery journey and, and even sometimes talking about my faith, you know, so that wow. started up. Yeah. And then over the course of the next couple of years, I actually built a brand, built a business, actually two separate businesses in the comedy and, and public uh, entertainment world. And then I'm not sure if you guys uh, remember, but uh, this coronavirus thing came through. <laughs> and yeah, I think we just shot anybody know what that's about down. There. Yeah. Anybody familiar with the that. coronavirus? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Don, Don 1023 is not a fan of Corona. <laughs> two, two big thumbs down from you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wasn't a fan either because these two businesses that I had, I was building, uh, the door, they were shuttered, you know, the doors mm. shut. And and I yeah, had to inter redefine industry, right? who I was again. And, uh, wow. you know, fortunately, I've got the best wife on the planet. Uh, and like she has stuck with me through all these challenges and, and encouraged me. And she actually first had the idea of perhaps getting into the metaverse and, and started uh, oh. started down that journey. I, I set out with the humble goal of building the biggest comedy club in the metaverse. Uh, but we've done so much more than that. You know, Jason and mm -hmm. I have met and really looked at the interpersonal relationship dynamic of in here mm -hmm. and looking at building culture, building a team and all this stuff. And it's, it's been amazing. Actually, a lot of the people here in the audience are, are part of the team soapstone and part of the, uh, the culture that's developing in here. So. Absolutely. That's awesome. That's awesome. I, I love that. That it, you guys have definitely built a, a good, a really good community in your world. I know that I've shared with you that I, I wish I've, have been able to be in there more uh but i've been dealing with with some sickness and stuff that i've been going to the doctor for and it's, it's getting better now so i'm like this is great i can get in here and do more uh but you guys have really built uh, a good strong community and what i love about it even listening to the podcast well well metaverse like you know we work with we work with people in the Christian radio industry and, and broadcasters and stuff. And they're a lot of people are afraid of the metaverse. Uh, and then they're like, well, we can't really do anything to, to like, to talk about our faith there. I'm like, yeah, you can. It's just your approach. Just <laughs> be human, you know, yeah, really just right, connect right. with people. It's about connecting with people and, and just building those relationships. So, and you guys do it in such a natural yeah. way. And we've talked, we've told a lot of broadcasters about your shows and say, it, there's like, you guys need to check out Soapstone Comedy Club. You need to be checking out the uh, Well Metaverse podcast because you guys, there, there are things happening. And uh, I love your story. And I want to hear more of this because I want to hear what Jason has to say and see if he tells us that you're lying about everything, Aaron. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'll tell you the real story. No, uh, no, I don't want to hear that. But you know, that sign—it's a bunch of crap, everybody. It's a bunch of crap. 
<laughs> that sign right behind you that's on the wall. Everybody's been asking us when we were building. What does that mean? Azor Bob. It's actually absorb. You have to lead it left to right. Read it left to right. But that actually is absorb. And uh, for us, our business launched right before COVID. I launched full time, left a, a job that I was at radio, uh, you know, a comfortable job, really good. But I was like, I felt like God was giving me the vision to help more people because I felt like yeah. we needed to help connect with people that, that need help, that need hope. Uh, and yeah. doing that, things like right before we made this step, my wife had a dream and it, she just kept hearing this word absorb, absorb. And the day I went in, she said, I don't know. I've never had that happen, but I woke up and it just was clear to me, absorb this blessing. And that moment mm-hmm. we knew that things might not go according to what we had planned, but no matter how it went, we need to recognize it as a blessing, <laughs> even if it seemed bad and absorb it. So your story hearing what you're sharing about all that happening with COVID and stuff, like doors were being shut, but ultimately look at the blessing it turned into. Like we can look at those yeah, things as yeah, not as blessings, but it's learning absolutely. how to absorb those moments too. So, so, all right, Jason, mm-hmm. let's hear. Like, how much of this is true and how much of it is? Let's hear Jason's <laughs> list on it. <laughs> yeah. uh, first of all, uh, man, uh, he has an amazing wife. I tell you what, I would say yeah. it's it's not true that he has the best wife on the face of the earth. You know what I'm saying? I would argue that Terry Earls is, first of all. <laughs> I was going to say my husband does. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> well, you're doing confetti for fight. You see this out here? Right. All right. Yeah. 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 Wrestling ring. Right. Wrestling ring. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's going to go over well yeah. to NRB. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, man. So, so Aaron and I, we have, we have this, we were basically colleagues within the same organization. Um, in fact, my, I was the president of the Christian Comedy Association. It's the National Association oh, wow. of Christian Comedians. Mm. And we had hosted the uh, – I put together the national conference. Typically, it's in Nashville, L.A., Atlanta, one of the large cities. Well, I brought it to uh, the great state of Texas where I live and, in a small country town because yeah. I just mm. believe that whenever Christians get together, uh, man, we should like – and we, a bunch of us converge on one town. The town should fill it. The town should be different. Yeah. We yeah. used to sing yeah. this song yeah. when I was little. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. So when the light, a lot of lights get together, it should be bright and shine mm-hmm. a city big time. Yeah. And so, I love that. I love so, that. So, so my kids, if you ask my kids who do they remember from this huge national conference that, uh, that they came, of course, they, dad's kids and dad put it on. So they just got to eat all the snacks. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> mental They're like the kids are just so excited about, yeah. like, who cares what dad's organization and leadership skills? Where are all the snacks? Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> And so they were like, uh, they were like, Dad, this man came to us really strange because anybody could come. And they were like, this man was in here selling alcohol. And I looked and I was like, Aaron, you can't do that, bro. This is a Christian bet. Uh, <laughs> that, that'll make the no, sound see- bite, the preview clip. <laughs> right. No, seriously. My 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 children who've been you know they're their dad son they they know people they really connected with Aaron for some odd reason and uh, I just so Aaron has a staple in our house and then I went I headlined the show at Gutty's Comedy Club in Minneapolis uh, Indianapolis sorry and uh, I'm from the East Coast so so <laughs> Aaron, the the owner of the club Kyle he's right before I went in to headline the show he was like hey. You mind jumping in the metaverse uh, for for just a little while, do some show? We have a comedy club in the metaverse. It's like, sure, because I've been strategizing, which we'll get into a little bit later, I'm sure, with yeah. your questioning. <laughs> so I hopped in, and that's when I saw one of my, you know, my kids, hero, Aaron. 
and Aaron <laughs> was helping lead this club. And I was like, oh, my goodness, Aaron, we got to talk <laughs> because it seems like we're thinking just alike. Yeah. So wow. he and I talked and I told him, I, I know his gifts. He's a very encouraging guy. And we have this statement where we say who you are in real life is magnified in the metaverse. Who you are in real life is magnified wow. in the metaverse. Ooh, I love that. So I, I want to put a pause yeah. there to say to your to your audience, to those who you've been reaching out uh your your friends there's this verse which that's kind of the metaverse theme we always bring up some verse there's this verse in acts chapter 1 verse 8 and that verse talks about who we really are we will automatically begin to make an impact all over the world in judea and samaria jerusalem into the remote parts of the world and I think probably the metaverse is probably the remotest of the remote. So my my, my point is this, is that when, when God's placed that light inside of you, it's going to shine. It's going to magnify in the metaverse. And I saw that with Aaron, and I just wanted to encourage him. And as a result of all the all the stuff that he said is true, uh, his wife, him being, he doesn't, he's a, he's a, he's a, you know, recovering alcoholic, dude doesn't drink. He's a loving husband. He's a major encourager and an amazingly gifted administrator. And all of that is magnified in the metaverse. That's why so many people know him. Let's go ahead and go to the first time I met met you, Aaron. I remember me and Olivia in the industry, like we have everybody in the industry. It's like everybody's following TikTok and Twitter, Facebook, all these different things. And we're like, okay, I was like, we need to look deeper. We actually recorded a commercial spot for uh, it was a, a a CCM event called Momentum. So we had this big commercial spot and about how don't do digital alone because like we, we everybody on digital we film alone. Right. Like how do we build connection? People look to feel value. They want to feel uh, that they want to feel valued and heard. And like how do we do that? So uh, our video guy came in to record a commercial spot and he brought a VR headset. And I remember putting it on, and the first thing he said, we recorded a funny commercial. I'll post it in our Facebook group later if you guys want to mm-hmm. check it out. So we did that, and uh, the first thing he said, hey, j- just play this game. It was, I think it was called uh, Space Pirates. Has anybody played Space Pirates before? Yeah? No? No? Okay, it's pretty <laughs> yeah. cool, but be careful because you might pull some muscles. I definitely was, like, trying to dodge <laughs> bullets on Matrix style. And, uh, yeah, it, uh, yeah, it didn't, didn't go well with my body. But anyways, I put it on. I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. And then I found out about Horizon Worlds. And when I, I brought Olivia and I was like, we're going to look more into the metaverse. Like, we're really going to dive into this because it's different. It feels like uh, we can actually connect to people, have real conversations like this, like having eye contact and communicating. Yeah. So yeah, I brought um, I brought Meta Olivia into Soapstone just to show her the comedy club. And uh, and Aaron was there. He was actually there, and I we were talking, and you were walking around looking at lights, and I, you had a team around you, and you're like, you're talking about changing lights out. And we were like, oh changing gosh, light bulbs. Think- that's 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 <laughs> my main job. <laughs> like, does, you guys keep it. There's like no dust in there. You guys dust. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Does amazing Very job. Terminator's <laughs> always sweeping up in there. <laughs> and- <laughs> <laughs> but when we were in there, I remember you jumped up on the stage and tar- started talking about stats. And you were talking about how many unique visitors you had in the month. And I'm like, whoa. So me and Olivia immediately turned around and we were just listening. And you, you, I remember you looked at everybody and said, oh, guys, I'm sorry. We're not like in a live show right now. We, we're, uh, usually we have com- comedians up, up here in the mic nights. We're just talking business right now. And I, I was like, no, keep it going because we needed to hear that. And and so afterwards, good. you jumped up in the you jumped up in the booth and sat there and had a conversation with me for like 20 minutes. And I'm like, wow, that's you don't get that on other digital platforms at all. So, you know, you know what's so cool about hearing you tell that story? Um, Jason and I talk a lot about turtles on a fence post. You know, if you're a farmer and you're walking through a field and you run into a turtle that's on top of a fence post, that turtle didn't get there by themselves. <laughs> you know, somebody put that turtle on that fence Ooh. post. Uh, yeah. And and in my journey, there have been so many turtles on a fence post, like just the perfect connection at the perfect time, uh, however unlikely that may be. And I think that was one of those moments. 
you know, because yeah. I'll tell you, it's, wow. it's, you know, a lot of the people that are in the soapstone a lot, it's rare that I get up on stage and talk straight up business. You know, I mean, it, that's, right. that's not a, that's not a real common thing. And for you to be in there. And I mean, I remember seeing you guys in there and like every once in a while, you'll see a lot of people that are in there to engage, to enjoy. And then every once in a while, you'll see somebody who is in there who is in data gathering mode, like just straight up observation, like strategic observation. And and I, I felt that with with you two, like, OK, they, they're serious. Like, I don't know who they are. I don't know what's going on, but they're serious about getting a feel for what's happening. So to to for us to connect up like that and sit down and, and talk about kind of some of the behind the scenes stuff. That's that's awesome. Thanks for sharing that end of the story. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. it really it really opened up like it really did open up us looking more into the metaverse it it became more of a real thing for us you know having that real connection we left there aaron and me and olivia went into a zoom meeting which we don't even rarely do zooms now except yeah, for our clients yeah. we're like let's just meet in our meta office tell them what you said about what it felt yeah, like at that so time. that like because i was sitting across from you two and i was literally in awe i was like brian i have never seen connection like that through any comments <laughs> on Facebook or anything oh, before. Right. And so I said, yeah. this is the real deal. Like we need to keep learning about this because it's connection, like true oh, connection. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're so right. And say it Jason, again, know, sister. You better like, come yeah, on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could I could feel you like just, just yeah. ready to pounce because man, that's something you say all the time. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, yes. look out here, like how many of you have had a real connection in the metaverse would you say like a real good conversation and met some awesome people in here yeah i mean look yeah. at this yeah so everybody's got their hands on. stay with us we'll be right back hey this is brian i just want to hit pause for just a second and give a big shout out and thank you to all of you who have supported our metaverse podcast experience season four of the podcast will begin in march of 2024 while we gear up for the new season i want to invite you to join our discord community at discord.killerbstudios.com or click the link in the show notes it's a perfect place to keep the conversations flowing and stay connected between seasons i hope to catch you there and with that let's get back to the episode This is why we were created, people, yes. for human connections. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. God yeah. made, he made all this stuff. It's like, yeah. oh, that's good. Woo, that is good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and the first time he said something wasn't good, it was when the first dude was by himself. Oh, oh. yeah. yeah. Oh. Mm. He, everything Ooh. was good. Everything good. Ah, uh, it's not good for this dude to be alone. So he made a that's human, deep. another human for community. And I'm telling you, that is why we live to to glorify him, of course, but to make an impact with other people, man. And it's so I say to anybody, especially to your Christian audience who's saying, "Uh, I probably shouldn't. One, this gives you the ability to connect with people faster than anybody anywhere else in the world, man. Yeah. It's yeah. like now it's I awesome. have friends in the UK. I'm having conversation like, what's the church like in UK? How's the church suffering in the wow. UK? Wow. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. you know, was able to go and understand about um, about Asia and the different countries in Asia and how many of them need, mm-hmm. have needs. And so a lot of times I know growing up in my church, we have a whole map all over the world. Like, hey, you know, man, pray for those who have needs over here. Pray for those who have needs. When well, the metaverse, you can actually talk to the people and hear what the yeah. needs are. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll stop because I'll go on about this, man. No, that's, that's good, good, man. That's, that's good. I love, share it. The I, love mic. It. I love it, man. I love it. Here, can I, I say it, one more thing? Yeah. I said one thing, and yeah. I'll pass the mic. Yeah, yeah. I always say this, and this is part of one of my my biggest bit of my stand up routine, and it has a serious point. This God didn't give everybody everything. He gave everybody, but He gave everybody something. God didn't give everybody mm-hmm. everything, but he gave everybody something. And he wants you to use your something to make this world a better place to impact this world. Yeah. And so we That's all good. have unique gifts that add to the value and the quality of other human beings. And the way that one way that we share that at an exponential rate is in the metaverse. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Absolutely. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. 
you know, you know, something that I feel like sharing, and I haven't really uh, talked about this, but it's just kind of on my mind putting it together. Like, like, why is that happening, and and how can you do that safely? Because you know, you were talking about that, that thing that you guys did about yeah. like don't don't do don't do it alone, and and yeah, we we're talking yeah. about connecting with people and 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 sharing faith and and perspective and and building community. So there's a big question of how to do that appropriately and safely. And the first thing is don't do it alone. You know, I I've literally seen good. people come That's into really this good. place and not have a team around them, not have people around yes. them that can help keep them accountable and help keep them going in the right direction. And it can get dangerous. It can get destructive. Yeah. You know, I mean, this, the, there's dopamine that releases in your brain. There's uh, accessibility to environments and situations that you don't normally get. And that can be, there's a huge draw to that. So the number one thing that I'd say on how to do this appropriately and safely is have people around you that you have genuine relationship, like Jason and I, genuine yeah. relationship. Yeah. It, I'll t- I yeah, promise sure. you something. If if this man saw me going off the rails, uh, my phone would be ringing, or I I might even get a knock on the door. <laughs> you know, so I want to play, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 And I mean, we That's... connect weekly, at least with genuine conversation. Wow. And and um, so to don't do it alone. And then the second thing, especially for those of us who have uh, firm beliefs and, and uh, faith. Um, yeah. One of the things that makes the, the metaverse so spectacular is the diversity. And that includes yeah. diversity in all shapes and sizes. And so one of the things that I have really tried to do, and I know Jason does, is to be unapologetically who we are, but non-judgmental on other people. You know, it's it's yeah. been important. And I have yeah. people on the Soapstone team that ha- maybe have uh, completely contradictory faith uh, than I do. And that's OK. You know, actually, like literally, th- by the way, this is a hilarious joke, but I, literally I was talking to somebody <laughs> this morning uh, and he told me that he's twelve and a half percent Christian. So he's one atheistic. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was elastic plastic, everybody. If you don't know elastic, elastic plastic, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, he's, yeah, funny. Yeah, he's yeah, a funny dude. Did. He's got yeah. dad jokes for days. He's great. There you go, but, Brian. Uh, but in all seriousness, fun. you know, people with completely different views, philosophical, <laughs> political, religious. It's okay for us not to agree. It's okay for us to not try to convince yeah. each other that the other one is yeah. right. It's okay to just have relationship. Mm-hmm. That's good. I, I, I love that. I one love of that. my, I love that. One of my favorite stories in the scriptures is is in just what happened. Acts again. I was just talking about, but uh, it's a dude named Paul, and Paul uh, on his journey, uh, man, went to this place. It was called Mars Hill, and there were people who, who believe in all different types of stuff. And Paul, being one who was of a different mindset, had this one way system that he believed in, went into this arena and just started hanging out with the people and talking. And the metaverse gives us this opportunity. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's so true. Yeah. That's so true. I, I love that because it, it teaches us just like as as Christians, like if we're as Christians, we're supposed to model what Jesus did. And Jesus went out and he hung out with people. You know, he hung out with mm-hmm. people that, you know, we can get so defensive if, if we try to isolate people out of our lives. But we have a Absolutely. God wants us to go out and share his love and be a light to others. So, uh, and you guys are doing that. Like you really are, yeah. but be true. Like, I think that's, I think that's a big point of it is being true. We have a sign back there in the back in the office. We have three signs. One says, behold, which is behold the season that you're in. That's what it stands for. Like whatever's going on right now, it might be good. It might seem bad, but behold it because God Man, is doing something good. in there. The yeah. middle sign is be true, be true to who you are. Like that's one of the things with social and stuff. It's so easy to, to get in the comparison game and, 
and see like, well, I want to be more like that person. You really, you're really seeing highlights of their lives. We're not seeing what's really going on yeah. in their lives yeah. and the struggles they're going yeah. through. Yeah. So be true to who you are. And, and, uh, the last, I'm sorry, be you, be you. That's what it is. Be true is, you know, your, your beliefs, but be you, be you, be uniquely you, uh, God's yeah. gifted you and given you something to do in this world, not just to just fill a vessel. He, he's given you something to do and you guys are doing yeah. it. Thanks, man. I think you should, instead of making them like number one, behold, you should name like alphabetical, put them in alphabetical order. Like instead of like make, you know, B, <laughs> behold, C, be true. And then have A, A, be sorb. Be sorb. Mind, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We need I'm a sorry. wah, wah, wah sound now. Don't we? We need a <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Be sorb. Yeah. Be sorb. Be whole. Be true. And be you. That's it. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I well, hear that joke awesome a little bit too much. <laughs> Brian, yeah, I, I met my match. match that yeah. <laughs> oh, this yeah. is awesome. Well, okay, so I want I want to ask you guys a couple other things because I know we're gonna have some people that's gonna be watching the video from the industry that we're in that they're gonna be like they're you know they're all about the numbers. Now I will say this like when we as us as digital strategists and coaches we we really try to encourage people like use the data use the data to help you show what's working and what's not, but don't. Let we don't want anybody to become a number. Once they become a number, you've already lost yeah. connection. You've ended relationships. Like there's no yeah. relationship building. I want to ask for you to, if you if you don't mind, like how has Soapstone been performing, like number wise? Like how many uniques do you, do you guys have? Any kind of stats that you can give? Like what kind of stats can they look at on a world? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm happy to share stats and stuff. And and I agree with you. Like I look at data to identify trends. Like that's what yeah. data is valuable for. Data is not valuable as a measuring stick against other people. It's not valuable right. to say if you're doing the right thing or the wrong thing even, but it is it is valuable as far as are you improving, are you staying the same, or are you declining? Um, now, yeah. you, of course, you gotta you gotta factor standard deviation in there because you do have some natural ups and downs, and you can't watch on you can't watch data on a microchasm basis because you'll be uh, you know, you'll be like a uh, ship blown on the sea, you know, and you'll be bouncing back yeah. and forth. But but to yeah. look at uh, solid data, and uh, the soapstone is doing very well. Uh, we're we're uh, we're doing great. We've had uh, cl close to 140,000 unique visitors and about 140,000 oh, awesome. hours of engagement uh, wow. in the soapstone. Wow. So people have spent a lot of time in the soapstone. Uh, currently, uh, week by week, we're anywhere from 11 to we actually just hit a, a week that was over 13,000 uh, um, hours oh. of engage or excuse me, 13,000 uh, what 13,000 unique visitors for a total of seven months of engagement. I haven't broken that down. Oh, by an hour, wow! But, wow! Um, and, and all in all, like using some other metrics, uh, we're we're uh, reaching about 15,000 hours of engagement uh, per per month there. So that's incredible. That's so incredible. things are I mean, good. Yeah. Well, you've got, I mean, since the last, like, well, since we first stepped in, you've got like a lot of, like, I see your guys' door almost everywhere. I think I can't turn around without seeing soap stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You know, and, and yeah, there's, uh, um, you know, we, we've been the beneficiary of some promotion and attention from Meta. And there's yeah. a, you know, a good thing to do when some, when you see something like that is to step back and try to ask why. Um, and I can't, yeah. I can't pretend to answer for that. Them, but I do know that there's some very, very positive things happening in the soapstone. And yeah, um, awesome. and we've been consistent. Like those trend lines that we're talking about, like we we became popular early on and we've sustained popularity for a long period of time. So wow. that makes it much more likely that if you look ahead for a month from now, that we will likely still still be popular. Um, and That's then you good. can also look at you can look at what's actually happening because the numbers, you know, numbers are just a good way to get a temperature on what, how things are trending. But if you look at what's really happening in the soapstone, uh, this morning at 11 a.m., uh, several people got together and did a show called Good Morning Soapstone. And, and this is a group of people that got together and said, listen, we want to do this show 
and we want to run with it. You know, in, in the soapstone, I've got a to-do list with just three items on it. Empower leaders, encourage people for the towards the spotlight, and share what we're learning. And that's Ooh, what we're doing. Good. We might be putting on oh, great shows, but the reason we're doing it is to empower leaders. So mm. this morning, this show, you know, I, I just g- give them the permissions and the tools to do what they want to do. And they're doing superb. Like this show was so good this morning. Last night was trivia and people came together <laughs> and both of these shows, like I wasn't spearheading it. I wasn't driving it. It, it was the people in the community that I've empowered wow. to be leaders that yeah, are, that are doing amazing. it. And that's, mm. that's why we're sustaining. Cause if this was the Aaron show, it would have burned yeah. out long ago, like a candle in the wind, yeah. perhaps. But. <laughs> I think that's the whole, is that, so I did have like a, uh, that was one of my questions is like, what advice would you give people that's experiencing in the metaverse? And I think that's a, a good point. Like, so would you say you, you want to keep the audience in mind? Like, actually let's just rephrase that. Let's not even, refer to it as an audience because i was just talking to somebody in a meeting before i came here and said as broadcasters we have to stop referring to people as audiences because an audience means we're taking the mic to talk and they just have to listen it's like no the audience needs to become part of the whole conversation uh it's a dialogue not a monologue so you're would you say if you're looking at building something would you say build something for the people to experience together not your own thing (laughs) yeah (laughs) go go ahead jay (laughs) i'll just i'm telling what i've seen just from working closely to aaron and for those who are watching who have no clue i mean man like this this dude's talking about you know being exalted or uh, promoted to another level uh you know, part of part of the promotion or the exaltation that this dude has had is because he, he's not selfish. It's kind of like this principle says: yeah. "Give and it shall be given mm-hmm. back to That's you." Uh, do nothing mm-hmm. is with em- empty conceit, mm-hmm. but humility of mind. Regard one another as more important to you than yourself. <laughs> And that's what that's the formula that I've seen in the metaverse. Every single person who's regarding other people more important than themselves and trying to help being givers, those are the people who you see, you know, rise to the top within this metaverse system. It's not the individuals who hoard information. This that's is all true. about community. That's true. Mm. That's yeah, good. yeah, that's yeah. really good. Yeah, I was just gonna say, and all the times that you know, Aaron's just been sharing here, I've never even heard him use the word "I," which to me that speaks volumes. And I do really believe that's why you're so successful, because you know, like you're saying, it's not about you; it's about this community. And I think that's amazing. So, yeah, thank you no, for thank sharing. You. Thank you. So you're saying I nailed it. You nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, so, I'm close. Bring out. We're in killer B words. Yeah. Killer B words. You killed it. You killed it. So I want to tell everybody in the audience, just give you guys a heads up. So, uh, oh, I can't do the uh, Q&A, can I? Uh, our, there's our script right there, Paul. So if everybody wants to give him some confetti, he's actually in here now. Hey, Paul. Oh, Paul, what's uh, up, man? Way to crush it, bro. He's, done a, he's worked <laughs> yeah, so this. much on on stuff. Uh, let's see. I think that we might still be able to do this. So we just dropped down this mic here. Uh, okay. So uh, here's what here's what I would suggest. If anybody has a question that you would like to ask Aaron or Jason, if you go down to the iPad, just click that button, and we'll be able to bring you up here to the mic, and you guys can feel free just to keep it at one question if you have a a specific question for them or for us. Either way. Uh, feel free to jump down there and just the iPads right by the seats. You can touch touch that button right there. Morris the connector, boy, this Morris this the connector is going to be like it's got to be like right up uh. your alley. <laughs> All right, Morris. So Morris, you've been activated. So if you want to come on up here to the blue stage, you'll see a mic hanging down. Go ahead and uh, and, and you are and tell muted. us who the questions <laughs> for. Yeah, you are muted right now. Yeah. Uh, good evening, guys. Good, na- good evening. Nice suit, brother. Good morning. Yeah. Why? Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. Sure. Just a random question. Did you get the killer bees from the Wu-Tang Clan? <laughs> yeah, I said the same thing. I said the same thing. the same exact thing. Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to mess with. Yeah. Well, my question is to Aaron. Um, when will we be... When will we be... When we, we, sorry, when will we be seeing more events for the in the Soapstone for the UK people? 
man, as soon as you're ready to do them. <laughs> yeah. No, in, in all seriousness, like this, uh, the, the date, the U S daytime programming, um, I've seen a huge void for that. So, I mean, like in, in all seriousness, as people who are involved with the soapstone are looking for their way to engage their way to get involved and make a mark, that's a way that's a way. Cause I mean, we could have, we could have good morning soapstone every single day and it would be, it'd be a cool thing, you know? So, uh, hopefully that, uh, that helps terminator. It's basically yeah. like, and I'll, I'll say this along that, those lines too, like in the beginning of something, I really feel like some parts of it should be easy. Like having the people step up and say, I want to do this. That part of it should be easy. Cause there's enough that's hard in getting a show going and keeping a show going that the first part needs to be very, very easy. So it needs to be people that are passionate about doing it and, and stepping up and having all those pieces fall into place. Uh, Jason and I talk a lot about that. Like some things should be easy. Absolutely. That's good. That's good. Thanks, Terminator. Cool. So I'm going to show you this thing. You guys stay out here because I know you can't go out back. You guys can't go in the back. So I don't think you guys have even seen this, but I'll, let me bring this out. I'll be right back. I'm, I'm excited so. about this. What? <laughs> Uh-oh. So you guys got the sword, okay? Oh, oh, oh. The sword that you bring out. And we've got a whack a stick, a whack a beast. <laughs> wow. Right? Yeah. This is our whack a beast stick. <laughs> the whack a beast stick is going to be something that we're going to use to promote people to team members. And when you become yeah. a team member, you can go back in the back anytime. We're going to have a VIP area. But what you do to become a team member is you have to come out here and you're going to have to ring the, you're going to have to whack the beast. So you guys, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, so we, we kind of got that cool. idea. I was like, we, I love the sword that you guys do. It's such a creative yeah. way uh, yeah. to make the audience feel part of it. So, uh, we have so and you beans. know, there's there's something like uh, one of the one of the big reasons why the soapstone has been Sorry, successful is we've we've allowed people to engage with it. You know, people are not coming to the soapstone to visit. People are coming to the soapstone to be part of the soapstone. And, and um, and as people get more engaged and actually want to be a part of running the soapstone, yeah, to have that sword and have have it very ceremonial and have it a big deal yeah. when we bring yeah. people in on the team and use that. That's that's a hugely important part. It's it's one of my favorite things that we do uh, in the soapstone is when we bring somebody on because it it uh, it means a lot. It means a lot to them. It yeah. means a lot to me. It means a lot to the soapstone. Yeah. Here's a little. Tra- I actually haven't even talked about this at all yet but there's something that we've got uh going on scripting right Ooh. now oh, oh, oh. Insider. Right. Insider. Uh, insider this insider is gonna be yeah. exclusive <laughs> ladies and gentlemen yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. it's all happening and, oh, oh uh, i broke up sorry I, <laughs> <laughs> somebody reported him and blocked him <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. battery died. no but but like we do have those uh, applause points or applause credits mm-hmm. that people can buy or if they're part of the uh, supporters wall they get 10 every time they come into the world and and they can use those when somebody's on stage being entertaining and they award the person on stage points to be the most entertaining and they award themselves points towards the most supportive that's a lot of words mm-hmm. but uh yeah. <laughs> but these applause credits you know people get them for various reasons and we're and we like to give them away at shows and stuff like that but i've got a deal working in scripting right now that randomly once every 24 hours one person on the supporters wall uh, is going to win. Uh, is going to win applause credits, and then Woo! so without us having to manually do it, like people will just be in the world hanging out, and then all of a sudden, boom! Somebody boom. on the on the wall will win applause credits. Uh, that's awesome. Oh, I love that. Awesome. That is awesome. I yeah. love that. That's that's, that's a really cool, like great great insider right here at the Killer Bee Studio. Yeah, so we'll take that. <laughs> so with that, I want to say I want to thank both of you, Unemployed and Jason Earls, for joining us in. To the, in the Killer Bee Studios today. And I want to thank all of our guests for coming out here as well and being part of today's very first beta version show here at the Killer Bee Studios. So if you guys want to jump up here on the stage, you guys can take selfies with everybody. Feel free to do that. And don't forget to check out the Facebook group. Connect with us so we can learn more about your guys' shows. Yeah, let's take a group selfie. Let's take a group selfie. That would be awesome. That would be awesome.